Well, despite all the warnings, there is new evidence tonight. Canadian consumers are getting deeper into the red and fast. In fact, as Christina Stevens reports, personal debt levels are growing at the fastest rate in two years. Three, two, one. Don't wait for the new year to make a financial resolution is the message here. Commit to getting your finances in order before you start your holiday shopping. It's a message 26-year-old Melissa Lund hears loud and clear. I'm in bad debt. Just from like when I was younger, like I got my first apartment and like didn't pay my like Rogers bill or my hydro bill and I let it like add up and it's tough being in debt, like it keeps me awake at night. The amount of debt Canadians are carrying is getting worse, not better. We saw a jump up uh, just over 2% last quarter and 4.6% this quarter, so it's definitely reversing its trend where it was pretty flat for about a year. TransUnion found Canadians are now carrying the highest debt loads they've seen since they started tracking this in 2004. Not including mortgages, the average Canadian now owes close to $27,000. British Columbians have the most debt at nearly $39,000, compared to Quebecers, the lowest at $19,000. Much of the debt is credit cards and lines of credit, but the biggest increase is in car loans, up more than 11% over last year. In the recession, people uh, put off buying vehicles, so I think part of this is a bit of a catch-up from the fact that we had weaker auto sales in the past and so there was pent-up demand. Craig Alexander believes most Canadians can handle their current debt loads, but Credit Canada's Lori Campbell isn't so sure. She says we've become too comfortable with low interest rates. I think we're comfortable with debt as well and, and we shouldn't be because when interest rates do climb, uh, there's going to be a huge amount of individuals, a large amount of individuals that are going to have a hard time meeting their commitments. Lund says she's ready to tackle the five to ten grand she owes. I want to start paying off some bills. It's a problem she says she's not going to ignore any longer. Christina Stevens, Global News, Toronto.